Hello and welcome to the show. As usual, I am joined by Steve. Unfortunately, there is uh, no Ian tonight. Sick note. He's poorly bad. But we do have Ian from Black Rose. Hello. We have a replacement Ian. A standing Ian. Ian. We have standing Ian. <laughs> Thank you so both for having me tonight, by the way. No Not right. a problem. Our pleasure. What we will do first is I think we'll have a vape buffet. Shall we? Have a little buffet. Yes. We'll start, we'll start with you, Ian. What are you vaping on? Uh, so I need to treat myself a, to a new vape <coughs> this week. Um, so I'm using the new Armour Max. Uh, nice. From Vapresso. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I won't lie. I've been a Vupu fanboy for a long, long time. Um, and I've put my, my, my drag away to try something a little bit bigger. And I'm very content. And, well, I am vaping Black Rose. Um, cool. Black Rose. Nice. And the only reason being, I've just run out of Nevermore because I managed to do 60 mil today so far. So it's, uh, I have to turn to my reserves. That's it. Definitely. Is that is that all you're vaping on? You know what? I am also vaping on this at the moment, which I oh, have. Oh, that's lovely. My new SX Mini. Mm. Uh, this is, the Pure Max is so nice. And of course, I've got my little Black Rose oh, edition. Look at that. Black Rose. Nice. The, the only one I've got is. The only thing with Black Rose I've got on is the old S, um, the SQ, SQ Mini. Um, yes. but it, it's it's dead. It's kaput. But I still got it. That's just this, this was a surprise this week. I didn't expect it, and I opened my pack. Very nice and... surprise. <gasps> Thank you. Very nice surprise. Okay, so is that who would you like to pass it on to? Well, I'll pass it back. I'll pass it on to Steve. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. sir. Uh, I take two. Uh, Lost Vape Centurus M200. Very nice. And, uh, as always, Aradon inside. Radon. Uh, what else have I got? I've got the Wild Rice Launcher on top of the Drag 3. Drag 3. Mm -hmm. Look that out. And inside that, I've got some of the new part of the new Jack Range. The Naughty Is that Rice one of the newest flavors? Pink Lemonade. Oh, so, yeah. It's a little bit cool for me, but it's still very nice. And then. Uh, release Lost just today, right? Yeah, uh, got my glass of hand from VLYP. Get that right, uh, their touch they sent us out. Uh, yes, we will be doing uh, a, review. Got a review for that coming up in the next couple of weeks once we've tested that a little bit and the, the flavors come through. <clears throat> nice. Uh, nice, and that is it for me. Curves. Lovely, Two lovely. Ones. I am I am on the cost free as always with some I've got in here tonight. I've got um, Pixie. 500 juice um and it is the energy ice and then i have got the b60 with the shift borough which yeah. is 0.4 coil and on that i got some as usual never more if it focuses there we go there we go, there we go. can i just say very quickly i didn't actually mention what i was vaping in this uh and the reason what are you I'm not allowed to mention what I'm uh, making. Is it one of these new secret flavors? It is, um, oh, which I'll be honest with you, I, I didn't know what to expect from it. And I'm going to be speaking about another bottle shortly uh, because this burns through too nicely. <laughs> nice. So um, what we will do now is we'll just say a quick hello to everyone and then we'll get on to Ian and all things Black Rose. Marvellous. Um, are we going to the top? Do you want me to go through the names, or are you going to go through the names, Steve? Uh, we two six. Have we, have we got because we've got a bumper for everything. Have we got a little? Where is it? Where uh, is it? Where's the VT? Uh, We're very professional on this show. Uh, you know okay. what? This is how it should go, as far as I'm concerned. Here we go. Here we go. No way back. Action. Okay. <laughs> Right, we're going into participantes. Uh, we've got Free Rider Vapor. Good evening. Yeah, I've seen you for a while. Uh, Grateful Ants. Hello. Head GYB. If I've got that right. <laughs> if I've uh, brutalised that, then sorry. Uh, Ian Thomas, James Vape Stuff, you know. 
Jane Dawn. Good evening, Jane. Julian. Jane's got a reach round for us later. Lizzie, good evening. Uh, Mark H with his muck elbow. Uh, I've got a mix of He's got it. Uh, Metal Vape, good evening. Uh, Mr. Ankles. In I think ankles. It's just, I think it's normally just Josh, I think, because I recognise he's a. Uh, Chrissy's in now as well. Intense. Uh, yeah, we have Graham uh, from Net Reality. Good evening. Mr. Nevins. Good evening, sir. Hello, Nevins. We have Phil in the uh, Vapor Bunny. Good evening. Ben M. Oh, we got a video. We've got something for that, haven't we? Yeah, have we? Oh, yeah, we have. Where is it? Winky, winky, bum, bum, poo, poo. Wrong one. Good evening, Bert. Uh, uh, Andy C, good evening. And Hello. Chrissy from Black Rose Elixir, good evening. Behave yourself now, Chrissy's in. Yeah, best behaviour. Uh, now, is everyone in participanties? Uh, Never been on my, been on my best behaviour in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is it. I've missed any. Oh, uh, the good lady um, wife. Have you said Vape Bunny? I have said Vape Bunny, I think. If I haven't, good evening. Um, not, normally, Ian does it more professional and does stuff like this. Yeah, we, we are that. Not that we're not that professional, yeah. though. We slack when he's not here. Yeah. Uh, let's go down. Let's do it properly now. Oh, uh, snowman's in. Uh, keep going down. I'm sure I saw the good lady wife's name in there somewhere. Yeah, I, yeah, I see, I've seen, I've seen her. She is here. Yes, like, lady, make Blazen. yourself known, Mrs. Blazon. Yeah, uh, I'm just looking out for the. I'm sure she's in there. I'm sure people were saying hello to her. Come on, Ellen, say hello again, so I can just. Uh... Come on, Ellen. Come on. I know you're in there. Oh, chat's just moving now. Oh, no. Uh, yes. So, yeah, that is. That's everyone in chat. Now we've got a reach. There she is. Hey, cooey. We we have got a reach around. We have got a reach around tonight. Uh, yeah. Two sets of coils from calls by Scott, and, and two bottles of liquid from Jane Dord and yeah, Shy Tots. So, if you would like to be. <clears throat> in the chance of winning that, uh, put X1 in chat now. So I'll we'll we'll, putting your name we'll in the list. Uh, list. So we will shall move on and welcome you properly, Ian. Um, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah. I'm, and I'm so happy to be here. Tell us a little bit more about yourself and a little bit more about what you're going to be doing with Black Rose or what you already are doing with Black Rose, I should so, say. I mean, I've, I've been in the, the, the vape side of things for the past decade. Um, okay. Started out running a shop, um, which I absolutely adored. Um, it's, I mean, I it, it was such an experience. You know, I, it, the vape industry is something completely different to everything else in the world. Yeah, um, definitely. The customers we get and the people we get to see every day and the relationships we get to build. Um, and I got the opportunity um, last year, well, at the end of last year, to finally, I decided it was time to step away from the store. Yeah. And do something different. However, I had nothing planned. Nothing at all. And I always told people, never walk away from a job until you've got a job. I thought, you know what? I'm going. I'm going. It's sometimes the best way. Sometimes. And basically, um, Christina and Phil, they approached me and asked me if I'd like to come on board with those, uh, with them. And you know what? I jumped at it. There wasn't even a consideration. There would I? be no hesitation. It's Definitely like, not. yeah, I'm, I'm coming. I'm on board. And I was so eager. And they basically took me on. I'm they're basically their, their business development manager. Now, my my role now is to get Black Rose out there more, get it into the stores. Because I'll be honest with you, I think it's a crime if a vape shop's not got Black Rose. I genuinely do. I, I, I mean, I met Phil and Christina last year at the Vape Expo when I was working mm -hmm. for my business for the business. And you know, I I got to the home zone. I was about to walk away, and that's where they were. I tried all five liquids and I couldn't fault any of them. And I've never in my life come across a range where I've gone, they're all exceptional. 
there's always something that slightly lets it down. There's always a flavour that you kind of overlook. And Black Rose was just different. For I've always I've always stated them as like, um, you know, back in the heyday of vaping. The you, had the top, you, had the, you had the top shelf liquids, yeah. 100%. And, that, and that, that's the whole range. Um, it, it, it is. It's, it's, it reminds me. Of, it, I, I tend to think about it as the golden years of vaping. Yeah. You know, when we kind of we were seeing. For me, it was like when you know, like Charlie. New Shaw, flavors every day, pretty much. Cut would appear in these kind of flavors, these flavor combinations that no one was considering, and you know, it was like wow, and and, and that and that's what I feel Black Rose are bringing back. And, and there's so and there's so many brands now on par with Black Rose, and they're all British. They're all British companies. That's that is a massive difference, you know. Um, you've, got Joe X, you've got Shy Tots, you've got all all the likes of these Aramaxi. All they're all coming through, and they're all they're all up there, and they're all British. It's beautiful. It's something very different. So, as I said, I came on board, um, eager to get going, and and my job is I'm going out and I'm meeting loads of different vape stores i'm heading out on the road getting to know different stores and, and that's a very different thing for me by the way because in a decade i've never left my own vape shop i've never yeah. stepped into another vape shop i was always very much like we can get it i'll get it here and i never yeah. needed to get travel anywhere else and so now this is a very different experience going to all these amazing shops getting to meet all these amazing staff um getting them to you know showcase this very sophisticated very elegant brand and to be fair, blowing their minds with it. Um, and the amount of people go, is there one you can leave me with in that flavor just for the rest of the day? And I actually went to a vape store in Grantham the other day. And the guy said, he, he was a talker like me. He didn't shut up. And he sat there on his chair with his pod system. And he didn't say a word after he started vaping Camilla. Like nothing. I was there for another 30 minutes. And not a peep came out of him apart from faces of pleasure. And I was like, okay. That worked. So I, and, and I'm just I'm just booked up now to travel out further each day. Um, I'm off tomorrow to Retford, and then later on in the week, I'm going to Boston. Um, my, everywhere. My only problem with Black Rose is um, I had my favourite, and it was my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then they bring out something else, and I like that more. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was, you know, it was Faust for a while, then it was Black Bess. Yeah, and I, I never more, and I never is, more. It's just always in one, at least one pod. Yeah, one see, we have so many juices. People are going, "Oh yeah, this is brilliant. This is one awards and that." And yeah, like I said, fl flavor can be nah. your own personal taste, just because yeah. someone else really likes it. Now. And I was like, "Yeah, okay, whatever." And I, I got uh, some of the um, Black Bess uh, Nick Salt, put it in the pocket, and I thought, like, "Right, here we go. That's it." it was, Less than a week, that bottle had gone. He was just like, oh, yeah. Well, I, I've always been very against black current vapes, like mm. massively against black current vapes. Yeah. Uh, and the reason being, they just don't work for me. Uh, mm. They never have done. I feel they're a bit generic. They they, they don't keep me amused. And I don't like ice. And now mm. I have a black vest, which is both black current and ice. I avoid lychee <laughs> like the plague, and I'm vaping lychee. I'm vaping Nevermore, which has got kiwi in, and I particularly hate kiwi. Um, so... Black Rose have done something completely different. They've changed my whole sort of style of vaping, my flavors, uh, mm. everything about me. Um, it's Black Rose changed although, me for the better. Although I have, had, I have had to calm down in recent months. There was um, a few months back, I was ordering like twenty bottles a month of salt. That's well, not too bad. <laughs> yeah, but. It was on top of other <laughs> other stuff I'm vaping, but I, I, I was, I, I, and I was going through 20, 20 bottles easily I, a month. Of... I did two bottles a day of salts when I was on salts, um, and now I get through one hundred and twenty mil in about two days, a short fill, uh, which is really good for me because I actually calculated how much I used to get through juice wise when I worked at the vape shop, and for the first six years, I did about seventy quid's worth of juice a day, um, every day. Which works out to twenty two and a half thousand pounds a year, um, paid <clears throat> for by the company, um, and it was great, <laughs> and I loved it. And I tried everything under the sun, everything that came through, even the dark chocolate and chili, which combusted my lungs. Um, so I was willing to try everything and anything. But when, when when you're in a vape shop, you do need to know the flavor profiles, and you need you, like when someone comes and asks you for a particular flavor, you need to be able to say, well, we've got this, this, and this. 
and mm. but the thing is as well, you know, when you think back to, you know, we talk about like those those times, those what I always refer to as the golden years. What I found was all, all of the juices that came through, they all had, sorry, I've got a, a cat trying to get my attention. Um, they all came through with um, the, just the name, a name. Yeah. So like with, with Cutwood, you know, the Boss Reserve, Sugar Bear, things like that. And we as staff members, we weren't a case of, it wasn't a case of just like, sell it it was we had to sell it we had to talk about the flavor profiles we had to break it down i mean one person she used to come in every week with a different friend just to make me go through every flavor on the shelf she didn't buy anything she came just to treat me like a like a performing monkey and i used to just sit, clap my hands and do it um every week and i was like are you gonna buy anything alex and she was like no but it's good fun watching you do it every week and i'm like well it keeps me in check it keeps me remembering um but i love that I love that rather than someone coming in and just going, can I have strawberry ice? Um, it was, <laughs> it was knowing it. Yep. The, the shop that I used to work at, we were, we, we had to memorize most of most of the flavors. You did. And you it was genuinely did. hard um, when you've got hundreds and hundreds of different brands, hundreds of different flavors on the shelf. You, you had yeah. to memorize everything. Uh, and, and that's, I think that was a great thing about what we did. Uh, and, and people were kind of astounded that you'd remember all like, eight or nine flavorings that were combined to make that one perfect flavor and yeah. it was just it just stuck and that's the reason i can't remember any song lyrics uh, because my head's full of flavor profiles still that i can't get rid of um so you'll get there you'll get there i don't think i will um at all i really don't you'll, you'll forget all those flavor profiles one day because you'll, I only, I do. Be, you because you'll only be fixated on the five if not more if and when it happens that black rose do this is the i am fixated on one brand of five flavors at the moment so yes and so how long have you been doing this now it's uh so i started i started at the beginning of february this year i've, I've this is essentially week four About week four a month a month uh, and i love it i absolutely love it i just want to say very quickly i've had i've got three cats in the house with me have paid no attention to me all day and right now <laughs> I don't. Sorry, that's what's trying to get everyone's attention. I apologise. <laughs> don't worry, it's the same with children. My children don't, don't talk to me, and as I, soon as I, I get live, they're right here. I, I, the I, door. I got stepchildren, and right now she's just grunting when she walks by me at this point. Um, <laughs> so he's like, mm. "I'm like, oh, okay, that's better than earlier. A bit more of a grunt." <clears throat> <laughs> okay, so so are, are we? Are we expecting anything? We might as well touch on that are we expecting anything new exciting from black rose yes i would not say yes can, not, not that you can dive all too much not like you can divulge, but things things are coming with our shadow there um and it should be very expo, aren't they as well in may you're sorry they're at expo in may i believe we are in we are at the expo in may which i hope to meet loads and loads more people but i'm down there working on the on the stand i am, I am hoping to make an appearance but at the moment you <clears> know <throat> I want oh. at the moment. Hmm. Well, maybe on Saturday. Be a bit different working it to just turn up and walking around. Um, um, I've worked the last five, six. Uh, yeah, but the, the, the only trouble is at the moment, it, obviously, um, the home zone is the place to be. Whereas walk around now, and it's it's just the same. It, it's nothing really. Where you can walk around the whole thing within less than an hour sit in the own well, obviously pre pre locked pre you know pre lockdown and that you could spend a whole saturday there and not go through everything because there's that many stalls and hardware and i you know, remember pre, pre lockdown and it, you're right Christine it was, it was heavy stand. going walking around um look at that christina new flavor is on the horizon love it um it's, is it called um, horizon <laughs> i know what christy's like with her name does it call horizon exclusive <laughs> So we, 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 you'd walk around, and you were there. You needed days to walk around to really get a feel of the expo. And the expo just gone in May. Um, you, you, you really could kill it in a few hours uh, and be gone. Because I, I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't want to spend any time with the disposable reps. You know, I yeah. had no interest. And to be fair, last year I did have a bit of a. I kind of got to a tipping point with disposables that I had to speak out about it on our on our social for the company I worked for. Um, because I just felt I could see where it was all going. It felt so negative. I, I knew what was happening. I saw children vaping, and it really upset me uh, because we were so we were so cautious. You know, we did our jobs properly. We we challenged twenty five. It, it was so important to do that because that is our responsibility as vape shops. 
um, and they were getting them, and it was just, it was sad. So I, I had to have a nine minute outburst on social media, um, telling people this is what the truth is. This is what you should be buying. This is how you should be vaping. And look at how much money we can be saving you. Um, and my job went from saying how many oh, cigarettes. Right. You, know, you, go for it. you go for it. So, <laughs> is it called Ian? <laughs> Yeah, Christina. Christina said she was. Uh, you were helping. Oh, we're oh. both pressing the button again. That um, <laughs> I, I can actually the and tell you it's not Cordian. Uh, well, the we names wouldn't, names names wouldn't be complicated enough for Black Rose. I'd like to. Be. I'd like to throw it out to our audience. Um, have you got any questions for Ian? Have you got any questions about Black Rose that maybe Phil and Chrissy can answer in the comments? Shoot us some ideas because normally Ian, the more the more prepared Ian that is not here. <laughs> um, he divides he devises all the questions and yeah he's the brains of the outfit so. and, he, and, he's, and he's called in sick yeah what a, what an absolutely that's terrible what a knob yeah it is the brains of the outfit we're, we're just here to make it look pretty so yeah he, he, saying that steve does all the fancy bits and i just show up every week <laughs> okay. i love that yeah um, I know. I know. This is. A, I thought we'll, we'll best mention this. I know. Um, obviously, uh, we've got in here from Black Rose, uh, but oui. as they're one of our sponsors, um, Isbergo have got their new. Uh, they have. I haven't even got any. Gut other range. Ones. I've got a little. Uh, you got a little find, slide. Find, find the uh, little Dewberry What's it? I'll bring it up just so you can have a look at the new ones. I think they're out. I think they're out. Tomorrow? No, they're out. They're out. They're out. Uh, today, no, they? they? Yeah, I think they would. I think they uh, released today. I think they're Sorry, in the shops from tomorrow. I think. Uh, if it's all that, uh, sorry, I should have been more Again, prepared. Ian, Ian would know when he's not here. Yeah. And this prepared Ian he does not know. So <laughs> we came. If prepared. it will pop up, is it going to be? Is it going to work? Come on, come on. <laughs> Is it going to be in complete and as a tall bag? Has your, ha has your hamster collapsed again? Uh, didn't like that. Let's try again. <laughs> it's any trouble using a, a web browsed uh, thing? It doesn't. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Ah, better. It's working now. Five new flavors. Ooh. Yeah, so they're all, they're, all, they're all, as it says at the bottom there, they're all available. Chocolate, in, in but ice, unreal berries, Oops. unreal desserts, and unreal ice. I think that Unreal Ice is a pineapple ice, isn't it? Um, yeah. Uh, the other yeah, I cannot remember for the life of me. Uh, oops, oh, it's it's broken. Broken. Yeah, yeah. I have got them here. It's not going to focus. I know it's got Unreal Desserts, Passion Fruit uh, Meringue. Okay, that's not going to focus. Ooh, passion, fruit like okay. passion Fruit Meringue. Uh, Unreal that's Ice, fun. Pineapple Ice. Nice. Um, I like a bit of pineapple. There is also... Unreal berries, rhubarb, and raspberry. So it's not focusing. So I do look. I'm sorry. I do love a good rhubarb fruit vape. Mm. I really do. I, I, I um, just... If you like a really, if you like a really good rhubarb, saying that Lizzie's just made a comment. <laughs> they do a lovely rhubarb and custard, and it is yes. beautiful. Rosy, I, I, uh, I, I rosy, really black currant, and cherry. And then the one that I'm on, the. Uh, Naughty but ice pink lemonade. Like I said, they're all available in ten mil uh, mix salts, and they're all out now. Very very nice. 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 Right. Do you, have, oh, we had any, the have we had any questions from the viewers? I don't think we have yet. Uh, apart from um, bring back Ian because you guys are lost apparently. <laughs> yeah, we, we're not as funny without Ian. Yeah. <laughs> He's got he's got poor poor throats. The three amigos, and without him, you are yeah. two dipshits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got. I think he's got a bit. Of tonsillitis. He's got a bit of a poorly throat. So. Uh, oh, I I don't have to worry about that anymore. I had my tonsils removed at twenty four, oh. which went disastrously the wrong. Yeah. Oh, oh, look. Mention him is. enough, he will appear. There he is. <laughs> we must have we must have said his name three times. And that's usually the case, and they appear. Uh, we've also uh, we've got uh, 
JBJ, good evening, sir. Oh, here we go. Mrs. Blazing's got a, um, a question. Tell us about your toothbrush. Your toothbrush. Every, every guest we do ask, <laughs> first of all, what color is your toothbrush? My toothbrush is black. And secondly, is it manual or electric? It's electric. Boo. <laughs> manual like... for the win. No, 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 no. no. You, you can't get the action to, to get everywhere. With a, with a manual, where an electric, it, it's much more thorough. And you get quite literally everywhere. Yeah. I've only got a couple of teeth, so it's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'd like to keep uh, mine. I'm terrified of dentists. So I, I do everything I can to, 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 to keep them where they are without... Yeah, but the, th the thing is with dentists nowadays, they're expensive. And even if you're in really, a lot of pain, you, you still have to, like the one I go to, you, you know, ring or you can do it online or whatever. You're in a lot of pain. Oh, we, we've got an appointment for you at the end of next week. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll be right. The thing for me with dentists, and this is what I love. This is what I love about dentists, right? So, you you know, you, we can go to our hospitals and we can have the most precise brain surgery. You know, we can have full sex changes. And yet the dentist still comes out with a pair of pliers. And that's what really bothers me. I'm sorry. <laughs> where is the progression? Where ha is the... I mean, yes, they're clean and not rusty anymore. But still, the guy puts a pair of pliers in your mouth and pulls it out. Yeah, it's no, I, like I said, I'm not a dentist fan as well. Like when they have to take one out, and you can hear that. I think oh. it's the it's the sound and the pressure. I had one removed um, not last year, year before, and I'd gone in an emergency. I was in so much pain, I to the point where bizarrely, the only thing that would give me give me relief was standing in the shower. Um, uh, anyway, so he goes in. He goes, no, we we can't take that out. I'm like, um, why? Why Why can't you take that out? He goes, it, it, the roots wrap around your jaw. Excellent. And I went, excuse me? He went, it's wrapped around your jaw. I went, well, that's not a good thing. And I went, I'm in agony. It took three months before he took it out. And I, I, you could see how white my knuckles were attached to that chair as he was pulling that thing out of my face. And oh. I just... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to pull it out. Oh, what if I say something nasty about your mom? Will you, will you knock it out then? Will you? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. See, I, I, I get just pull my own. Just pull oh, my own. You do not. Oh, no. uh, I can put up with most most pains, but anything to do with teeth. I will, I will be honest with you. My fiance sat and watched some, <laughs> some tooth extractions on TikTok the other way and she, day, and she went, I feel confident I can do this for you now. I went, I feel confident you can't. Stop it. <laughs> no. I, I, I've got a question for Lizzie because she just told me she spent eight hundred pound on a root canal. What hurt more, the root canal or paying eight hundred pound for it? Oof. That's a good I, question. I think paying the eight hundred pound is a bit more painful. Yeah, but it, it's you're in such a lot of pain, and then it's another. It's like kicking you when you're down. Oh, we've done yeah. that for you. Now it's, it's nearly a grand. Now, now we're going to give you a bit more. Can but I ask hey. you a question? Though? Would you, if you were given the decision, you've got a root canal, or we can extract it for one hundred and fifty pounds here and now, rather than eight hundred pounds? And you're not going to lose it that much. What are you going to do? I'm getting it out. I'm, I'm getting it out as well. I agree. 100%. And I, and I would probably take it out myself. When it, save yeah, we need you to come back three, four times while we drill into your face. Or we can just pull it out for a quarter of the price. Yeah. It's not really a thought process. And, and, unless, unless it's one at the front there, because the ones I've acted at uh, uh, the back is so you can't see the fuckers, so you're all right. You see, the worst thing is now you brought up a conversation, right? Because my, my fiance is going to be watching this. And the day before I started at Black Rose, I had an appointment at the dentist that I basically turned, I told her I'm not going to. And the yep. reason being, I've got three fillings I need to have done. And then I've got a two, one of my wisdom teeth, the root has grown out of my, out of my gum. Uh. And they need to remove it. And I was like, so do I go and have three fillings and extraction my day before what I think is my big, my most important job I've ever taken on? Or do I book a week off later on in the year and fit it in there when I can, you know, really recover? Because I'm the guy in the chair who, if there's children in the waiting room, they ask to leave the dentist because of my screaming. <laughs> All right. So I'm that guy. If the kids are leaving, there's a good chance I'm in the chair. Screaming like a girl because I'm terrified of yeah. what's happening. So I've had a worse experience, worse experience in doctors' rooms, but that was a. Uh, yeah. I mean, just saying that with, with pain and stuff like that, because I've had to have a couple of um, heart procedures done called, called an ablation. Right. Okay. Oh where yeah. Where they they go in through an artery in your groin and send this thing all the way through, and it goes into your heart. First yeah. time I had it done, although the 
uh, anaesthetic because because he's moving this because they put like a sheet in and they put the, like the, the, the tool in. He's I was like, in that, is, is, yeah. Is he is he trying to do fix something to my heart, or is he trying to get me to confess to something? Because it was it just felt like he's got this real thick needle and trying to grind it on my leg bone. That's what it felt like. And I've I've had two, and I've got to get a third one done. It's like, and and I kept I kept saying to him the last time. I said the um, sedation didn't work. I felt absolutely everything. Uh, so I've got to. You know, they, they can't do it into general anaesthetic. You've got to be awake for it. And say, well, next time you do it, I want to be completely off my tits. I, I, I want to be seeing pink fairies and goblins and unicorns and everything. I will I've say, got... oh, sorry. No, you carry on. I was going to say that when I had that tooth done, I was so terrified. I told him to inject, inject as much anaesthetic as physically possible so I couldn't feel anything of my face. And I can't figure out still whether this happened or not. Lionel Richie's dancing on the ceiling came on and he started doing a jig around me. Now, I'm not sure if it was the anaesthetic uh, yeah. or if he she genuinely does that before surgeries. Um, either way, it was quite disconcerting at the time. Um, yeah. But I, I've had it once where I, I was going on holiday on the Monday uh, and on the Friday, I had to go and see the dentist and obviously get, get my money changed. So I had to go, and see, go to the dentist and then to the post office to get my money changed. But it's quite embarrassing when you go and get that done. You go into the post office and you're trying to ask to exchange some money while you're dribbling all down your top and down oh, your phone's like, oh, he's like, is it? Have you just been to the dentist or had a stroke? Oh, I've got, I've got a point, an important question to ask: yeah. toast or no toast? Yeah. In vapes or in real in life? Just, just toast or no toast? Just yes or no? Yes. What is my toast, 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 toast the apparatus? What is my toast, 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 toast the apparatus? What is my toast, 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 toast the apparatus? What is my toast, 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 toast the apparatus? I can't be seen in the keuken, can't be seen in the toilet, can't be seen in the kamer, had I not better on him gelet. He staat ook niet in the bijkeuken and ook niet in the schuur. Ik zag hem net nog liggen in de la 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 la. Sorry about that. Can I no, we, we have to do it what, at some point. Video was going to go on for that long. No, <laughs> you don't. Yeah. That's, a, that's especially for my wife, uh, Helen, downstairs. And if we hadn't have played it in all of its entirety, the chat would have gone mad. Yeah. They love that song. <laughs> I, I don't think people do, actually. <laughs> we, we, just, we just love to, someone who's not uh, really been on the show, we just love to see the guests to face when they play. Yeah. Like, First, first reaction to I've first seen scene. a lot of crap on the internet, but I've never seen that before. Oh, yeah, we, yeah. we, 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 I've never seen stuff. that. Uh, we found some worse stuff, there is worse. But they, we tried to find the translation of it, and I, I think the translation lyrics I found didn't quite translate properly because it, it's either that or because the uh, the wacky backies uh, legal over there that whoever did the translation, but well, we have got a um, a nice Dutch friend of ours um, hooked on phone. He did, Jay. He did transfer it. Uh, he transfer was going to properly translate it for us, but uh, he gave us a rough translation, know. didn't he? Yeah, but it's just like yeah, that, it's just like, that is possibly one of the most awful things I've ever had come up on my screen. It's like um, my, my, you either love it or you hate it. I, but who loves it? Who genuine? Okay, <laughs> right. Maybe, maybe Eurovision Song Contest fans. I I believe they would have. They'd be fully behind that. Okay, chat. We, we've we've got a naysayer. Who in who in chat likes it? There there are some that hate it, but they keep coming back for more. Well, we, 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 can I just we follow him on Instagram, and we we tried to sort of see if we could get, get him on the show. show but one of his yeah. posts, he, he he's he's trying to get himself nominated to to, to represent Holland in the Euros. Really? <laughs> yeah. You see, I have so open for the past three years. I've not watched the Eurovision Song Contest, but yeah. for the twenty years beforehand. 
I watched it every year because my late wife was very, very much into Eurovision and I had to watch it religiously. Uh, and she could predict every score where it was coming from. And it was just like three hours, three hours of my life gone to Eurovision again. <laughs> yeah, yeah I don't think that, is, that isn't the, the full version, I don't think. No, the full version's a lot longer than that. Yeah. Uh, please don't show it. Um, if that's okay. <laughs> right. Um, while we're at it, um, if you haven't already, uh, put X1 in chat now for the reach around for... Oh, it's um, a nice reach around. Two, two sets of coils from Coils by Scott and uh, a couple of bottles from Shy Tots. So if you haven't already, please put X1 in chat now. Not necessarily we'll those flavours. I'm sure you'll be able to pick Five minutes. And it, the winner, if you just message uh, Jane on her Facebook page or even on her Instagram page, uh, she will tell you what you want and um, you can, I guess, pick flavours. Um, and for the coils, message um, Scott, Scott directly and they, it will all be sent to you direct from those guys. Yes. And they are <laughs> the really good coils as well. Well, there's some really good juices as well. I've got to find out what route Craig does because I need to hear him humming toast. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I bet he keeps his passengers entertained. There's no doubt about that. Or insane, or he has an empty bus permanently. Here uh, we go. <laughs> this is the question. Obviously, I don't know. This might probably not directed at you. It's probably directed at Chrissy and Phil. Well, for legal reasons, I'm keeping my mouth shut. Um... <laughs> Apparently... Some guy called Ian above the clouds um, has asked for toast apparel. <laughs> uh, well, I'll have to try and, like we said before, we'll have to try and get uh, some of them suits and wear them around the expo. And like that. I think that'd be much loved by many people. There we go. It's good. It's good for a cold. Is the hint we have been given, uh, um, and then we've been given this hint as well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, well, I'll just, yeah. just to reassure you all, I'm vaping it currently and it is delicious. Oh. Lovely, so uh, lovely fisherman friends e liquid. Nice, <laughs> that's correct. It's actually mackerel inspired, mm. not mm. fisherman's friend, but it's not the, the only thought. Fishy friend, <laughs> fishy friend. <laughs> I've already had it, I have already had it. Did you like it? I did, indeed. Actually, I was sent... I think we were sent two. You were? Yes, we were sent two different. And I like them both. So, Whereas when we tried Medardus and Nevermore that we were sent, I didn't like Nevermore. Wow. No. It... I got a lot of bubblegum from it, and I was kept being told there's no bubblegum. <laughs> I was trying to guess the flavors. Do you know, guess do you know no what it is? I, I think, you know, it's, it's, I think out of all the five flavors we do, I think Nevermore is possibly like the love it or hate it one for a lot of people. It is, it is a love it or hate it is, one. But, but the way I, I tend to find the people who tend to love it the most are Heisenberg fans. Not because it has any connection to Heisenberg in any way, shape, or form. It's not got the aniseed. It's not, it's not any way, shape of it. But it's medicinal. In its flavouring, I feel, and that's what sells it. And I think that's the reason people, some people, love it. I was very upset, <laughs> but on the newer flavours that I tried, I did get like three ingredients right on one of them. I just couldn't f name the fourth ingredient. <laughs> I was, I was on, I was messaging Phil for about maybe an hour, <laughs> and we were just going through. <laughs> Is it this? No, <laughs> not, not even close. Love it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yes. Um, is there any, anyone else got any questions for Ian in chat while he's here? We would normally have a quick fire round as well, but again, Ian normally sorts most of the questions for that. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Thank you. One of them is badger or squirrel. Oh, God. Does this lead to a really <laughs> horrific video? 
No, 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 you're safe. <laughs> you're safe with this one. Badger or Sorry, squirrel? We, we squirrel. like badgers. No, we like badgers here. You see, that's the thing is, when I had a beard down here, people used to go, what's living in your, ba- in your beard? I'd say, well, family of badgers, of course. Badgers. badgers. There's always a badger living in the beard. And we we get to, we, we have a meeting on a Friday, um, and we got a bit delirious the other week, and we were just going through this or that questions, and I was changing words for badger, and we were getting a bit bit girly. Yeah, I I, 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 I could giggly. I had to I, move away because I couldn't stop laughing. I'll be honest with you. One thing I used to run um, at my old business is to, as a thank you to my staff is every 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 two weeks I run a games night. Um, I'd have the staff round. Uh, I'd cook food. Um, bring alcohol, and then we do tabletop games all night. Um, whether that be D and D, any of the sort of heavy, heavy Euro stuff, and it used to get look, to the point where you know you're laughing so hard, you're starting to think, "Have I broke a rib?" Uh, <laughs> it's always a good night when you've been laughing that hard. You you don't know if you've done yourself an injury. Um, your jaw, your jaws ache. Yeah, and it, it's 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 always good. That kind of stopped abruptly when I did the uh, one chip challenge on my staff live on the social for the work. <laughs> Um, last year, um, we had to cut that video short. <laughs> Callum still can't look at a Dorito in the same way. He, he used to love them, and now he won't go anywhere near. <laughs> if you could be a dinosaur, which one would you be? Oh, Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus, that was quick. That was a quick answer. Yeah. And apparently it's badger or beaver, which probably is right, probably. <laughs> Now, are you a badger fan or are you a beaver fan? A T-Rex. Yeah. I don't know. A T-Rex seems normal. My wife's a bit of a T-Rex. Short arms, short legs. (laughs) (laughs) I think Stegosaurus is more interesting with the arms. Yes. Um, So we have got a reach round. We may as well get that that done. Any more names? Any more names? Or I'll... can I can I just bring this up very quickly because you can you constant can. word of reach around. So I had um, this was last year a, a customer. She came into the shop, and you you I'm sure you know what it's like when a, someone comes in buying for someone else. Yeah. It's the most it's one of the challenging things you're going to do because they have no idea what they should be buying. They don't know what to ask for. And this young lady went through a very long list of of products. Uh, she's listing the juice and the cores, and then finally she got to the reach around that she asked for. <laughs> and um, my staff were in the back having their lunch, and I just heard that, hmm, what? And I just went, sorry? What, 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 madam? And she went, reach around. You see Deke. Oh, dear. I was like, um... Oh, PJ or Duncan. Sorry. Yeah, PJ or Duncan. Or... Duncan. Ant or deck? It's it's ant or deck, but it's, it's deck. Ian's trying to keep away from that question. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, so I, I just had to sort of explain to her what she was asking for, um, and she promptly left her boyfriend that day in the shop um, <laughs> on the phone and said, um, "I've got your vape stuff. I ain't coming back." And um, she went out of the You're shop a prick. quite unhappy. Um, it made my day um, because it was just something different. Yeah, <laughs> we, we use it in turn in place of the G away word. Yeah, because some social YouTube media platforms do not like that. Do so they not? It is, a, it is a reach around or an offering. It, it's interesting the terminologies we have to use around socials and things, with certain things being pulled up and other things being let go. Absolutely fine on on like, on like like Instagram. So all right to have your boobs out and your your flaps out. Is, but you um, cannot post a vape product. I know. Oh no, no, that's that's very bad. Very bad. I had the same problem with TikTok, by the way. Massive issues with TikTok when I, I decided doing TikTok socials work, and I, I was being pulled up on everything. However, I did manage to get a paid promotion on there, which they pulled off after five days. But and yeah, I mean, I mean it, it, it's some of these bad things that are crazy, like. You know how uh, strict YouTube are about vape products and this that, and the other. I, I, mem- uh, I was watching a program. Can't remember it's for. I think can't remember the name. There's a British woman that used to go to different houses and stop with the family because there's something unique about the family. And this one was in America because their 
nine-year-old daughter had her own YouTube channel about guns. And she used to fire different guns and gun ranges. So it's okay to have a nine-year-old with a, a YouTube channel about guns, but you can't have it about vaping that saves people's lives. It seems think- very... Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm trying to just just think through some sources right now, which I'd like to have in my belly button. Uh, I, I, I think we need to have a word with Mrs. Blazing. The, um... <laughs> yeah, and the worrying, worrying thing is, she's a school teacher. That's that. I, I don't know why, but I kind of thought that was coming somehow. <laughs> um, a very good one, but yeah, got to worry. Chinese me. Chinese curry sauce for me. Oh, that's not actually a bad. That's not a bad call there. Yeah, that's nothing not spicy, bad. just in case it leaks through and. You get pregnant. Uh, you know, strangely, right, because I, I, would, I don't know, baby. it's not really a sauce, um, but I really, really like, um, you know, the lime pickle you have on a, yep. um, on, on your pickle tray. Yeah. yeah. I love that lime pickle. It's ghastly and vile, but so addictive. And that is what I would put in my belly button. So there we go. <laughs> what? <Okay. laughs> How? How did you get chewing gum stuck in your belly button? You know, I don't know, but that's going to have to be the first question tomorrow in the uh, in the huddle when I go into my my first my morning meeting before I start work. Um, bear in mind, How I'll be and why? <laughs> was, was it like? Oh, I need to put this somewhere. Uh, oh, yes, yeah. that'll do. <laughs> I just just um, I mean, maybe something stuck up the nose, but at what point does chewing gum get put in the belly button? Um. I think we're getting off topic a little bit here. It's like <laughs> yeah. I think he's been taking his, his uh, medication. Too much medication. Yeah. You know what? That's not a bad thing. <laughs> right. Uh, right. We're coming to that time now. We're going to go over and do the uh, reach around. Is that who is your favourite v- reviewer? I would expect is. And you know what? I, I don't know. Um, there's, there's a lot of guys out there. There's a lot of guys. There's, there's very, a lot to choose reviews. from. Um, these days and I honestly that is something I couldn't just give you a straight answer on on which huh. with ADHD anything yeah I, I, yeah very true my wife's um very artistic yeah what we say? well my, my, I, will, I will I will say my fiance is constantly telling me I, I suffer with autism um because of the way I do everything and uh and, and very specific so I wouldn't be half surprised with everything else that's wrong with me so yeah <laughs> I, right, it, right. It, wouldn't, it wouldn't be wrong in that mix. Right, let's do this. Yeah, that's boring without stuff that's wrong with me. Yeah, you've got to have something wrong, otherwise it's just oh, boring. Absolutely. Here we there go. we go. Right, let's make this screen larger. Larger. Ah, oh, there we so go. So we've got yeah. 16 uh, people entering. We'll get a bit, bit of a shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Ooh, yeah, you shuffle. Uh, and good luck to everybody. I'll, hopefully, I've got everyone's names in. If I forgot anybody, then I do apologise. Good luck all. Very yeah. nice little prize. I'll be definitely calling back Ian if you get this wrong. By the way, someone's yeah. way. <clears throat> Mister Ant Man, grateful and good job. Yes. Well Congratulations! If you would like to contact Jane and Scott. And they will endeavour to get your prizes out as quick as they can. Lovely. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Don't do a race on this one. We used to do races, didn't we? Whatever, yeah, whatever, happened, then... whatever happened to the races, eh? Yeah, you know, it was that thing I used, I used to use, but then it uh, you had to start paying again, which wasn't too ah, bad. That'd be, why, that'd be why the, the races went. It was all right. It was £9 a year, which isn't bad. But then, or you can use this for free. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but the, you know that nine pound a year, right? So that's that's you're right. It's not a lot, but the amount of other things you end up adding to the subscriptions to the mix to make these things work, and then all of a sudden it's like that's three hundred pounds just going out of my account. What for? And you realise <laughs> everything you 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 have to make all these amazing productions and these things to work, and it becomes very very expensive. Yeah, tell me about it. I, I'm using a laptop at the moment with a a nice nice added added on camera and microphone. Um, but I've literally just been in the process of building a PC, and it. Do you know? Yeah, what, I didn't know little about? parts could cost so much. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a massive gamer. I am a huge gamer. I started out on the PC back in 1998, and what's scary, I still know the spec of that first PC I ever bought uh, and I have made. 
Uh, but now I'm, I'm strictly, I strictly stick, stick to my, my Xbox because uh, I can't afford to do PC gaming because of the cost. Oh, yeah. um, it, it's just too much. And the upgrades, I, I feel it'd be just too, too expensive in the long run for me. Yeah. I'm I mean, just trying like, to make my YouTube area a little bit nicer, a little bit more. Yeah, it's when, when, I, when I first started doing reviews, obviously, like a lot of people, I just use my phone. Yes. Yeah, which is yeah. fine. And then a few years later, then it's, my Mac was 1200 quid, and then you got like 40 quid for a microphone, and then God knows yeah. for a camera. And I got a second monitor, and it's just like, it was worth it 100% worth yeah. it. Well, it's this, it's exactly the same with the Instagram shots I do on Instagram, it used to be just mobile phone, and now I've got big cameras and all sorts going on. Well, um, I, I carry enough luggage with me for um, like Rose to be fair, I've got space for a camera. Um, no, Christina. Oh. I um, do. I'm. I do. I'm sat in my little um, house of vape. Um, it's all around me. Mm-hmm. Um, it, Chrissy will tell you I'm a little bit of a magpie when it comes to devices. Oh, shiny itis. Yeah, but I can't just buy one of said device. If I like the device, I then have to buy a second in a different color. Well, that's that should that's that's normal, isn't it? That should be right. <laughs> I will. I will be honest with you. You know the. My thing, wife will say no. That is not normal. Well, the most dangerous thing I found about obviously with the fact I now travel around different vape shops. The first thing I do is I like I look in the cabinet. I'm like, oh, what is that? Mm. Can I see it? And I'm like, would I get shouted at at home for bringing another vape back? The next the next time I go to Disney, which I'm sure will be uh, probably this year sometime, um, I am definitely going to stop in and see Phil and Chrissy because I haven't been to the shop yet. Uh, well, me and Helen were talking about that. Is uh, eventually at one point we want to do, we wouldn't mind going, going, going to Paris and all that business. And then while we're there, go and do uh, Disney. We'll have to uh, stop. It's well worth it. We did it twice last year, and we mm. we really we loved it. Yeah. You know, right now Disney is not on the top of my list. There is one place at the top of my list, and it's the uh, the Studio Ghibli World in Japan. Uh, that. Is that the one with Mario and stuff like that? No, that's the so with Ghibli World. That's like, um, do you like the films like Howl's Moving Castle and stuff like that? I think I think no. Disney now Disney are own, own, own studio Ghibli. You, you need to look yeah. at the, the phenomenal animators, uh, and they do more traditional animation rather than any, any anything with computer generated. It's all it's all hand drawn still, and it's it's beautiful stuff that they produce. Um, and they did a, Howl's Moving Castle is probably one of the most noticeable ones. Uh, for a lot of people, because it had the big actors at the time, uh, but I, I, I adore adore their films. Um, so, but I would like to go to Disneyland. But also, what worries me is the Dancing Stormtroopers. I don't know if I'm able to handle that section. <laughs> um, it, it really upsets me to see you know Darth Vader coming out into a Michael Jackson track, uh, and it takes me away from the immersion that is the Star Wars universe. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Good evening, Brent. Good evening, Good sir. Evening. Nice to see you. Very nice I feel well. See. Yeah, I, I would imagine Jane's collection is also pretty big. Yeah, j- just a, a little thing with uh, it. Hopefully, you should all know uh, Brent Bearded Viking Customs. He does lovely stuff like this. Oh, that's nice. Absolutely that fantastic stuff. And oh, he also really does uh, the bits of, like drip tips and other bits for the devices. So go over and check out his. Uh, my question, my question for Brent is: Has he done one for the San yet? The new Vapor Cloud one, because the door that comes on the new San mod is not that great. The device itself is lovely, but it does need a better door. The door is a little bit pants. Could do with like a see-through door. And oh, there we go. So there we go. I suppose if you've asked it for him now publicly live. I have he's, publicly and live. He now feels that pressure that he's, he's like, "Well, I've got to do that because if I don't do that, I'll be played for it every every episode." Or you could just keep mentioning it until he he gives in and and, and goes and does it for you. There we go. Answer straight away. Thank you very much. But I haven't been sent a sign yet, but I will. He will probably get one at Expo, so we could probably see custom doors towards the end of the year then, or if not, just after Expo. <laughs> and you know, you know, you know, they'll be good because everything he, he seems to do is absolute. Lovely jubbly. Here we go. Uh, 
I buy DIY stuff. Not me, man. Just need to pay for clouds. I will. It's a nice little mod, but I think the door just lets it down a little bit. There we go. Put that somewhere. We yes. are coming towards the end of the show, unfortunately. It yes, does fly past so fast. Have we got any closing statements or comments from you, Ian? Anything you want to add? I, I do want to just thank you for having me on board today. It's been not a you problem. Know, you are more than welcome to come on anytime. I would love to. You know, I, I, I've done videos for, for years and years for social for work with my previous. This business. is slightly different. It's not. It's not quite. Um, it, it's, it's different. It's because... a panel show. It's different. Yeah, it is very Very different, you know, and and my videos would last around six minutes at the most for a review. Um, So being live is a very, very different situation, Um, but I have loved it. And do you know what? If if you if anyone out there has watched this and they haven't gone and got themselves a bottle of Black Rose yet, um, I I class that as war crimes. (laughs) Uh, So I would suggest you find yourself a a local stockist. If not, you know, or go direct to blackrose.com and get blackrose.com and get it ordered um <laughs> and, and get and get yourself a bottle and i tell you what there isn't a bottle which won't please you no there definitely not i agree with that statement um, um and i will be chrissy i need another box so i will be ordering very soon i'm down to my last couple of bottles and obviously don't forget to follow black rose on the socials on instagram yes, um, yes. it's worth following and definitely mine as well, just saying. Uh... Oh, I'm going to stop pressing <laughs> buttons. I'm not pressing any buttons. <laughs> sorry, sorry. My fault. It will, be, it will be interesting to come on the show when Ian's in just to see how different it flows, if it's really that more prepared. It's a, yeah, it's a little bit more... Um, there's a bit more constructive questioning, yeah. whereas we just... Just go with the flow a little bit. That's all right. That's yeah. not a bad thing. I think, I think it's been great. <laughs> but we but we're always on time when Ian's not here. Yeah. And we're always late when he's here. Oh well, there we go, you see. Everyone because he always needs to have a wee beforehand. Yeah. Nervous wee. How is, he not, how is he not prepared for that? Why doesn't he go prior? He does, <laughs> but it's a nervous wee. <laughs> how can I, how old is he? How how old is he? Sorry. He's fifty, soon nine. Yeah, I've noticed when we get to like the age of forty, our bladder just like decreases in capacity massively. And oh, yeah. you start getting questions like, have you been for a diabetes check? Like, I don't need that. I just, my blood is like 20 mil apparently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I know about that because I'm, I'm 50 next year. And my blood is going. Uh, yeah, I, th- I think you need to go about three, four times a night. There's nothing wrong. Just, uh, yeah. just just keep going. Keep it flowing. Yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm 39 again in a couple of weeks. Uh, again? Yeah, again. Second time. Second time, my I turned for the years. Yeah, in shame since last night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've got we we've replaced Ian <laughs> with another Ian. <laughs> Ian. Yeah. It, it was just so we could remember the name. To be honest, uh, we, if we'd have got someone different, yeah. we wouldn't have remembered the name. Yeah. So. Is that the only reason I'm on? You just looked for another Ian in the industry. <laughs> right. yeah. There's got to be another Ian somewhere. <laughs> And you found it. There we go. Just the one. And it was like, oh, ah, some, someone's just been added to Black Rose. His name's Ian. Let's try that one. <laughs> Perfect for the night. Hello, Barry. And hello. Barry. And hello, Odin Reviews. Jay. Oh, we, we're right. coming to the end of the show, guys. You, sorry. Can I, can I just say very quickly, right? You know, Mondays I used to hate because everything would go wrong. But do you know something? This has been a great Monday. Yeah. We really love great. Mondays. Monday's our favorite day of the week because we get to have a laugh with each other and then. Mm forget the world for a bit which is always nice always good to forget the world for a bit yes especially what everything's going on at the moment i know anyway we are drawing to a close i'd like to thank the chat for being amazing as always and thank you ian for coming on thank you so much thank you steve thank you steve for not being ill (laughs) (laughs) you know steve had been ill how bad would this show have been (laughs) Uh, it would have been very quiet. I don't. I don't do well talking when I'm on my own. I go right. a bit like. So it would have been yeah. just like a still of you. Yeah. Yeah, for an hour. <laughs> I, I don't know. Some some people like Flat Cap who does a a show by himself every Friday. I don't know how. 
No, we, we, we sort of bounce off each other and when it when yeah. we're less when there's less of us here. Three is the perfect for us, you know, three hosts because we keep it all going, whereas like when we get lower in numbers, it gets a bit harder. Oh, I don't mean that. Well, I'm honest, I was expecting so much far more. Oh, thank you. Uh, a far more random comment, uh, from random, random like conversations. Uh, but I, yeah, it's been great. We do go off on um, random tangents sometime. Um, if you need me for there a tangent, there are shows where we'll we'll be talking about one thing and then we'll end up completely. I, I, uh, I think we're very good at that generally. Uh, you know, <coughs> just completely go all the way around and come back to the conversation we started with originally. Uh, and most people can't follow that, um, no. and, and I like that. Yeah, well, it's like when we meet up on a Friday to talk about what we're going to do on the show. That lasts the oh, whole. Yeah. If we stretch it out for about five minutes, and then the next two hours we're just having a laugh Laughing and chatting, and giggling. And, uh, yeah, which is good. Just I good think so. it. Absolutely. Like schoolgirls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are going to say goodbye now. Let people get on yes. with their evenings. Um, if, if you, uh, you know, uh, in with, with this, obviously, we, we, we do the. Do the outro. So if you just just stay there, and then we'll, we'll have a chat afterwards. Like so. No worries. I can find the uh, outro. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody for joining us tonight. And uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up on and your way out. That would in be the words lovely. of R. Ian, keep it moist and keep it erect. Keep it erect. Right. Thanks you, everybody. And we'll also see you next week. And hopefully, Ian will be uh, with us. Better error. Better error. It's a bit better, ever. Right. Toodle pips. Bye.